Marian Thompson, uh, a freelance consultant. Um, so I come to events like this uh, that we've had today and help facilitate. I used to work for Include Youth as well. Um, and it's really interesting to think 20 years ago we were having some of the same conversations and yet we have made progress. Some of the things we heard today around the, the strategy is really, really encouraging, but I think it's really important that we keep an eye and we hold um, our decision makers and our government to account. Um, I look back and I think of the work that Include Youth did around PEPs um, and saw that come into fruition and those have been talked about today as a really positive development. Um, the primary school work is really, really positive and yet we often see uh, young people coming to give and take with no qualifications, um, a lack of confidence, feeling bottom, bottom of the pile and we do need to do something around that in our secondary schools and when young people come in, we talk about early intervention, we need early intervention as soon as someone comes into care, we need to act and we need to be thinking of the holistic picture and that includes education. I think that one of the main things I'm taking away is this idea around collaboration and joining education and health and that they're starting to work really well together and we heard about some of the training that is going on and that's that's paying dividends to the young person who's at the centre of all of this. Um, we heard from someone from um, a primary school and it was just, it was an emotional story. Um, and part of that was because the teachers really started to get it. And I think that's what we need moving forward is training for teachers to understand what it's like to come into the care system because it's not a bed of roses and yet it's not how we should define these young people. They are more than that. Music